So also, I think you had a question, right, that you wanted to ask? Yeah, this was one of the questions that I kind of got wrong, mm-hmm. came back to, still was struggling with it, which is why I kind of asked this, uh, brought mm-hmm. this up with you, which is, the question is, uh, before closing business deals, a best practice is to assess third-party vendors to find what risks exist and develop ways to manage known risks. All right, stop. So just from that question stem itself, right? Because I think that the question itself then goes on to ask, what's the, what is this best practice known yeah. as? So even at that point, you should know the answer. Yeah. What is it? The, the answer is going to be due diligence in here. Right. Because uh, like some of the keywords that I'm looking at, you know, instantly kind of hopping off is like before, mm-hmm. you know, seen in the word assess, mm-hmm. uh, you know, kind of developing and finding, you know, it's things that you would do before entering that deal rather than afterwards. Right. And the word assess, I, and to be clear, you can do assessments as part of due care, right? Mm-hmm. Like, for example, vulnerability assessments, pen testing, that's all sort of part of staying compliant and doing, you know, those actions after, for example, this business deal has closed. But in the context of a question, they're talking about assessing before you actually merge, before you actually, you know, close that business deal. So in this case, that's right. It's, it's due diligence. So what just happened is, oh, by the way, we should check the right answer. Is due diligence one of the answer choices? It is the right answer choice. Great, perfect. So what just happened is you predicted the right answer. You read the question stem, you thought about it, and then before reading the answer choices, you just went and go fa- found that. And that's how you go fast on exam day. That's how you get the right answer. So, Ethan, I think you told me one time you're a football fan. Yes, Is that right? you- I heard Eagles fan. Eagle, okay. Sorry, I'm the... Apologies for the Super Bowl loss. Thank you for can, that. Still can hurts. you name somebody who like plays defense? Uh, yeah, uh, Darius Slay, probably, you know, okay, okay. cornerback. Like, cornerback? Yeah. Okay. So, you know that play where like they, I think it's called like jumping the route. They sort mm-hmm. of anticipate the throw or the route and they kind of like jump in front and intercept the ball. Good protection, end zone pick. Pass is intercepted by Slay. That's the feeling you should have on exam day when you're going through a question. You've got to be proactive, not reactive. The answer choices are the scary, confusing places. The question stem is where you want to do all that hard work of thinking about the answer choice, predicting it. That way you don't get confused by the answer choices. Gotcha. And if you predict and it's not there, then it's time to panic, right? Then you can sort of figure things out. But all of the sort of thinking and hard work should be happening in the question stem. Like if you do a question, it takes you a minute and a half. The minute, the 60 seconds should really be spent on the question stem before you get to the answer choices. That makes sense. 